What's going on everyone? It's Joe DeLone. We're back with another video. Today I want to talk about gardens and how to water them efficiently and a process that I love to do. I've had it for years now and I absolutely love it. So let's get started. So the process that I'm going to talk about today is right here in these three raised beds right here. It's called drip irrigation. Now I did a video on this last year. Um, I think it was too much of an in-depth video. It's very simple to do, very easy to do. Anybody can hook this up. You have uh, plenty of options out there to get this stuff. You can get them on Amazon. You can get it at Home Depot or Lowe's. I got my stuff right at Home Depot. Um, so if you run out of something, you can go get it, bring it back and put it together. So right here is a perfect example of drip irrigation. You can see right here, we have these emitters right here. I'll show you how I've run it to this, to this sprays bed here in a second. But what these emitters are, they what they do is they drip every six inches to 12 inches, depending on the style that you get and what you can find. But what's really great, it's just a little bit of a droplet that basically dr uh, drops into your garden a little bit at a time. And that way it controls the flow of what's coming out into your beds. The, the great thing about drip irrigation is it can hook right to your faucet to the side of your house. As you can see here, I have a Melnor water timer. I've had this for probably three or four seasons now. Haven't had a problem with it. As you can see here, I have two different settings right here on my Melnor water timer. I have the one here. This is for actually the drip irrigation line. You can see here, this is the half inch uh, pipe that comes with it. It goes into a, obviously you wanna have a backflow preventer on there. And then this one's a two port. They also sell a four port if you're interested in that. If you're in, interested in above ground irrigation, these things are really great. You can set them up to four different cycles, meaning four different times of the day they can come on. This is a two zone obviously has a manual off and on so if you want to if you see a little bit of a dry spot in your garden and it doesn't the timer you know comes on at a certain time and you want to hit that a little bit extra you can have a manual on off i've done a full death in depth video on the four port one i show you how to set it up i'll leave that link below uh, it's a very popular video because it is a little confusing when you first set these up but again, I have my drip irrigation right here, my half inch pipe, it runs down. And it basically what happens is, is that half inch pipe right there runs right along everything that you want. That ha half inch pipe that I have runs right along the bottom of my uh, mulch bed right here. And then it goes all the way back into my garden. And then from there, you can branch off to various things. So let me tell you, let me explain to you what I mean by how it branches off of that. So this is the half inch pipe that you can buy. It, obviously you, re you really need this. This is what connects to the timer that I showed you behind me. Uh, there's a couple different fittings that you can get. It's very easy to figure out. So I'm not gonna go in super in depth. I just wanna give you guys the basic idea of how the drip irrigation works. But basically this half inch line is what I use as my main line. And then from there, I branch off to everything. The shrub right here behind me, the rose bush, has, is branched off of this to a nice emitter that feed, feeds it regularly on schedule every day. So that's why these rose bushes right here behind me, they look really great. All my shrubs always look really great throughout the time of the year because I'm always branching off of these half inch pipes right here. So what you wanna buy is one of these hole punchers right here, and then all you gotta do is puncture, puncture a hole right into the tubing right here. I have a couple right here, but there, see, there you go. And then from there, you can branch off to wherever you wanna go. So obviously there's a bunch of different accessories that you can get. You have some of these right here. These are some different fittings. There's a 90 degree in here. There's a uh, there's a T in here. So if you wanna branch off the two different spots, you can. And then from here, these are the drip emitters right here. Uh, actually the company that makes them is called Dig. Uh, I think these ones are sold at Home Depot, uh, but as you can see here, this bag right here has a 10 pack and it does uh, it does two gallons per hour. So I really don't go off the, the gallons per hour thing. I just kind of judge what my plants are doing. If I think my plants need a little bit more water, then I'm gonna upper the timer. If I think they're getting too much, maybe I'll down the timer, just things like that. I don't get too carried, carried away with the gallons per hour. I've used these emitters here for years now and they've worked just fine. So what you wanna do is, is you wanna branch off of your half inch line right here. So what you wanna do is use one of these little guys right here. Basically what this does is goes into one of the holes right here, just like so. And then from there, another accessory that you need to buy is these micro tubes. Now again, these micro tubes, 
Uh, they're a lot smaller. I, f I don't exactly know what diameter is, but you can see it's a lot smaller. So basically what you do, they come in a roll. I forget exactly, probably 25, 50 feet, something like that. You buy this, then all you gotta do is snip it to how long you want. Same thing with the tubing, you can snip it. They have end caps on here as well. I just use regular uh, clippers that you use for pecs. This works really great to snap these off, either or. Um, you can use anything you want, um, but, the pe the, but the, the PEX clippers work really great for this. Again, it has an end cap. It you have to buy that separately. It has an end cap, so the water ain't you know, obviously squirting out the other end. But from going back to your emitter right here, this is what I was talking about. Each of my shrubs or each of my garden strips that I have, I branch off. So again, I have my adapter on here. I take my micro tubing. Now, Sometimes this micro tubing doesn't go on easily. So what I like to do is I like to use a torch, something like this. Um, and if you have something even bigger, you can use one of these guys. And all you gotta do is heat up the tubing a little bit. And then from there, you can put on whatever you want. So if I'm gonna branch off to say a shrub, I have my micro tube branch off of the half inch line. Then on the other end, I'm gonna take my drip emitter right here. I'm gonna throw that guy on and there you go. I have one of these, again, I'm gonna show you in a second, all along my flower bed, so all my plants are getting watered just like this, drip right off the half inch line. Don't have to worry about, don't have to worry about getting a sprinkler out, you don't have to worry about throwing your hose out there, watering anything by hand. You just have the water timer on and you're good to go. So again, I have this system all along this flower bed right here, all the way down. Each plant is getting a drip emitter just like this, right off the half inch line. So just imagine this on the ground, right here. That, ha that half inch tubing right there is running all along down the front side of my house and then it's branching off to this shrub right here. It's branching off to this shrub right here and then again, all the way down. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna flip it on and show you guys what the drip irrigation looks like in the garden. We're gonna put it on for 15 minutes just so you guys can see what it looks like. And just like that, it's flowing through. So let's go show you. So we're back out back now. And as I said, this half inch line, it runs literally right along the edge of the fence, all the way down the fence line and into the back of the three beds back there. And then from there, again, we just branch off. You can either use one of these drip emitters like I have on the end of here, or you could use the drip emitters where it drips like every six inches or 12 inches, depending on what kind of style you can find. So right here is a perfect example of the drip emitter right here. This is a blueberry bush right from Hamilton, New Jersey. And as you can see, I have my branch. My line goes way down this way. Again, that half inch line just goes underneath all the way down and we're just branching off. And as you can see, we have the drip emitter right here and it's just feeding this bush right here. And then again, we have one all along here to feed all the other blueberry bushes. Some are underground, some are above ground. It doesn't really matter, it's gonna get fed. So here's a perfect example of the drip emitter right here, the one that's every six inches. As you can see, it's literally just dripping just a little bit at a time. And we have this all through our three raised beds. I have an actual half inch here in the middle as well, because the half inch, obviously more water is gonna come out of that than these little drip emitters right here. But these drip emitters right here are a lifesaver. It really does make gardening so much easier. You have your timer set up. It's so much easier to do. You don't gotta get out there with the hose anymore. You just put it up on that timer and you're good to go. I'm gonna show you those three raised beds right here and then we'll finish up the video. And again, here you go. We have the drip emitters right here. This one I believe is spaced out to 12 inches. I'm not 100% sure. Again, you, you might have to go online and buy these ones. Sometimes you don't always get these ones in store, the ones that are the six inch or the 12 inch emitters. Um, I believe I got mine on either Amazon or on Rainbird's website. I believe I got on Rainbird's website before. I'm not 100% sure. Um, if I can find it, I'll leave it linked below for you guys to go check it out, an affiliate free link for you guys. Um, and again, this is a lifesaver. And there you guys have it, a quick video on drip irrigation and why I love it. It's really awesome, it's really easy to do. If you have any questions on today's video, leave it down in the comment section below, I'll help you out. Go check out my video from last year as well if you're still interested in more, learning more about your drip irrigation. Again, if you're gonna get in the gardening, if you're gonna have raised beds like we have right here, these three big ones and we have ones over there, or you wanna keep your shrubs and your plants and your different rose bushes or whatever you have irrigated, 
drip irrigation is the way to go. You hook it up, it's worry free, goes on the timer, comes on, goes off, you're good to go. If you found today's content helpful or if you enjoyed today's content, make sure you smash that like button. It really does help out with the channel. If you're interested in any of my other content, check me out on Instagram, check me out on TikTok. And until next time, guys, I'll see you in the next one.